Ladies and gentlemen, this video is not clickbait. On the six year anniversary of signing my first client back in August of 2016, I'm shutting my agency down. Six years of blood, sweat and tears, a six year journey that took me from a broke high school student to a multi-millionaire. And most importantly, accomplish the outcome that I had from the beginning, which was take care of me and my mom and then eventually retire her. Now, there's a few things I want to talk about in this video. First, I need to talk about sort of where I'm at in my career and how my different businesses slot into my vision. Second, I'll explain why I'm actually making the sacrifice and what goal it is contributing towards. And lastly, I will explain why I'm still more than knowledgeable after six years to help people start and scale their agency, but also the outside experts that I've brought into my e-learning company, Greer Agency, over the space of the year to sort of fill in in the gaps where I'm just not as sharp as I used to be. Now, I could have quietly shut down my agency and sort of continued on as if nothing had happened, but in the spirit of the last six years sharing my agency journey and my journey, as I said, from broke to multimillionaire here on YouTube, I just thought I'd be transparent and give you guys a full update. So let's start off with the first point, which is kind of where I'm at with my career and how my different businesses slot into it. And in order to explain this, I need to use a concept that I've used in the past, which is market timing and career timing. Now, market timing is basically how good of an opportunity something is considering sort of the market conditions. For example, you could have been an incredible entrepreneur, but if in the year 2020, you start a newspaper company, as in like a physical newspaper company, you probably wouldn't have done very well. Whereas if you were in that same entrepreneur in terms of the skill set in the 1980s, you know, you could have been a multi, multi, multi millionaire, you know, who knows, even maybe a billionaire. So when it comes to that front, which is market timing, starting and running an online boutique marketing agency is in its absolute prime when it comes to market timing, because now the world is catching up to the things that I was doing back in 2018. And, you know, these are really a few key pillars that I introduced all the way at the beginning of 2018. And that's really when I went from making a, you know, a cute few hundred thousand dollars a year to a million plus. And really it's three pillars, which is an all remote team, which I've had from basically day one. This means that you can look all across the globe and hire the best talent and you get to pay them 10 to 20 percent, which you would have to pay someone in the US because, quite frankly, it's just living costs, right? Like you could be paying them 20 percent of what you're paying someone in California and they're living three times the quality of life because of basically just currency conversions and stuff like that. And the best part is you're changing a lot of these people's lives because you're paying them most of the time double what they would be making locally. But now they're making that with you but you also have the benefit of paying them, as I said, 20%, which you would have to pay someone in London, Paris, New York. So that is pillar number one. Pillar number two is the ability to sign clients globally. You know, I was doing Zoom calls. I made the decision summer of 2019, I'm gonna do no more physical meetings when it comes to signing a client. It will all be via Zoom. It didn't matter if, you know, back in time I was living in London, it didn't matter if someone was also based in London, I would only do Zoom exclusively. And the last pillar specialize and focus in on one niche and one service. Now, when I was making $80,000 a month profit at the age of 18 back in you know 2018, and I was using these core pillars, I was really swimming upstream. Like I was working against what was industry norms and industry standards. But with everything that went on in 2020, the world changing, your clients will expect that you have no office. They'll expect that you're signing clients internationally. They'll expect that you have a global workforce. And obviously everything's done on Zoom now. And it's for that reason that my style of teaching starting an online boutique agency works better now than it ever has. And you know, that really showed it in 2021 where at my agency, IG Media, we had our best year and we also had our best single month at $160,000 in profit. By the way, when I speak in these numbers, I don't ever talk about revenue, only profit, because really that's the only thing that matters at a cash flow focused agency. So the time to start an online boutique marketing agency has never been better. But here is where we get into career timing. See what gets you from one point to the next won't get you from that to the other. Between the space of 2016 to 2021, I use my agency to go from zero to eight figures after tax. Now I need to focus on the next phase of my career, which is going to nine and multi nine figures. As I said, in that five year span between 2016 to 2021, 
I produced millions in cash flow from my agency and I always had a philosophy which was invest anywhere from 50 to 80 percent. As I made more money, basically that percentage would go higher. So I took all that money and I basically invested along the way. As a lot of you guys know, I made a lot of money with crypto. I very publicly put a million dollars from my agency business bank account in December of 2020. And publicly on YouTube, six months later, I posted my seven million dollar uh, crypto portfolio. And then five days later, it was worth 3.5 million. And the next peak we had, I learned my lessons and basically learned that I need to take more profits. So, so between that, you guys also know that I invest a lot in watches and I've made quite a lot of money there, as well as a few other miscellaneous investments. So as I said, between the millions that the agency produced in cash flow over the year, I was able to then invest it and multiply it. Because here's the thing, a lean boutique online marketing agency is the best way to make 500k to 1.5 million a year in profit full stop. I know because I have five businesses, like I have businesses in e-commerce, SaaS, uh, e-learning, um, agents, like I I can speak from experience here. And the best part is it's the most hands-off after two years if you did what I did, which was find an incredible CMO, shout out Danny. Basically after two years, you get a CMO, you give them profit share like I did with Danny, and this person's you know really incentivized to run the company, grow it, et cetera, et cetera. And that is all great. The fact that I was basically able to use my agency to in five years go from zero to 10 million, that's great, but that's not going to get me to 100 to 500 million. And that's really the goal. So you need to understand that each business has its pros and cons when it comes to career timing. And quite frankly, I'm at a stage where I am good for money. I never really need to work for money ever again. And I know that a lot of people will be very happy in my situation and basically be like, dude, you won the game at 22. Like, that's it. Go to Bali, go to Cape Town, go travel the world, Medellin, relax. I'm just not wired like that. I, I wish I was because my life would be a lot more peaceful, but I'm not like I want that next goal. And that really brings us on to the next part of the video, which is why I'm actually making the sacrifice. Like what is the sacrifice for? And to give you a very quick answer, it is agency flow, which is my software company I've been working on for two years with actually the husband of one of my old agency clients. Now we worked on it for 18 months, different iterations, different features, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, software is a very, very difficult game. So we worked on it for a long, long time and it was actually in beta sort of invite only between August, 2021 and then February, 2022. So in that six month period and we were figuring out some more kinks, et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, we launched it in February of this year. So right around six months ago and it has already been appraised between 12 to $15 million by some VCs We've also had a very, very low eight figure offer on it, which as you can tell, we didn't take. So yeah, all of that is in six months. Now you guys don't really hear me talk much about agency flow here on YouTube when in fact, it's actually my main focus. It's the thing that I spend sort of most of my mental capacity and most of my time on. And we have 11 full-time developers at that company. It is full bootstrapped, fully funded ourselves. Um, and it's really, really tough. It's a really tough business, but it's what we're doing is, is incredible. And the main reason I don't really talk about it here on YouTube is because it's it's not very applicable to my 400,000 subscribers on here. You know, it is a niche software for a very specific sort of customer, which is a boutique lean agency. And this is exactly my audience of customers and my e-learning company, Grow Your Agency. Now I'll be very honest with you guys, as I kind of got to that eight figure level and I was like, I'm kind of good. Like I'm, you know, I'm happy. I don't really need more money. I need the thing that's going to take me to that next point in my career. Because as I said, look, quite frankly, my agency isn't going to get me there. You know, my e-learning company, people, some people are very delusional. You will never, ever, ever sell an e-learning company because a person is a face to it, right? You know, it's, it's not really a company that you're going to sell. It's cute. You know, from your agency, you might make a few million, which by the way, is nothing to scoff at. You know, from your agency, you might make a few million over a few years, you know, uh, e-learning company, don't get me sorry, it's actually a notoriously difficult business to, to sustain past the first like 18 months, which is why you see so many people on YouTube who have education companies that basically just fizzle out after 18 months. But anyways, that's a separate side topic. The point is, I kind of got to the end of 2021 and I was actually considering closing GYA. Just being honest, I was basically considering closing it uh, similar to my agency and actually similar to another business, which I'll talk about in just a second, uh, because I was like, you know, I money wise, I'm good. And now I just I mainly need focus, but I didn't because I realized it is in my best interest to cultivate as many incredible agency owners as humanly possible. And the reason why is quite selfishly, inevitably, they're going to use my software. Now, if you want a perfect example of this, you can look at Russell Brunson. You know, Russell Brunson grew, I believe, in six years from 2015 to 2021, roughly around those dates. Click funnels from zero to they actually received an offer of a billion dollars. So six years, self-funded, zero to a billion, which is basically kind of my goal. 
maybe not a billion, you know, maybe like two, 300 million, but you get the point. And a large portion of what Russell Brunson will do and the reason they were so successful is he will sell, you know, funnel hacking secrets or like he'll sell sort of these educational stuff to get people really excited about funnels. And in the same way, I'm going to continue to make YouTube videos, talk about the thing that I am most passionate about, the thing that changed my life to try to get more and more people into the agency world and not just the agency world, but the way that I believe an agency should be run. You know, what's best for you, what's best for your client, what's best for your team. And inevitably, I keep building up all this goodwill and people use my software because they know my software is the thing that's most tailored to them. So that's basically the playbook. And you need to use that playbook when, in my case, just like Russell Brunson, uh, it's bootstrap. You know, you're starting it all with your own money. You you know, you don't want to take $30 million in investment, uh, you know, for uh, whatever percentage of your business, because, you know, you just don't want to deal with that side of the startup world. So yeah, I was actually basically heavily considering closing down the education company uh, last year because of how much time it takes in comparison to how much profits it made. And actually this year, I'll say it has been doing a lot better, which is cool because we've actually also been able to do a lot more with that money in terms of customer experience. I'll get onto that later. But anyways, to kind of paint a picture, uh, I'll give you an example. Let's say this year we get 5,000 students into Agency Navigator. Now from those 5,000 students, 80% of those will use my software company Agency Flow because it's like, because I mean, yeah, sure. You could use like Asana and Slack and Pipedrive and all these stuff that are, aren't are tailored specifically for agencies, or you could use our software, which is literally built for you, like from scratch by someone who was in your position. So around 80% of those 5,000 will actually use it. Then around 40%, so half of that, that 80%, uh, they'll be around sort of a year later, six months later. So at an average monthly ticket price of $138, because we have a $95 plan and a $245 plan. So the blended average between those is $138. As in, we took the weighted average between the 245 plan and the 95 plan. It comes out to $138 a month. So with the increase of agency navigator students, around 2000 of those after the first year will be using agency navigate. You do the math, $138 times 2000, that comes out to an extra $276,000 a month in monthly recurring revenue. That's a total of $3.3 million extra each year in annual recurring revenue. Now bear in mind with agency flow, our number one goal is to make basically no money or as little money as humanly possible. Just keep flipping that revenue over into better, better developers, growing out the team, spreading the message, et cetera, et cetera. Like this, a software company is not something you start to be ultra profitable and to take a lot of money home yourself. Like, of course, you know, we still want to keep 20% margins. So that way Pierre can eat, I can eat. And sort of like, we can keep continuing to think long-term, you know, him and I still have monthly goings and expenses that, you know, we need to tend to, but anyways, at an extra annual recurring revenue of $3.3 .3 million, or let's just say $3 million that increases increases the value of our company by 30 to $40 million a year. And bear in mind, I won't go into sort of Pierre's uh, network and his circle and kind of the world he comes from. But let me tell you, we have the smartest people on earth. We have some of the smartest money on earth in our corner. Pierre is Swiss and his network when it comes to the VC game, when it comes to his friends that have sold their companies for nine and 10 figure levels. And basically the smart money, his connection to some of the smart money is quite insane. So when I say that, you know, the value of our company goes up, like this isn't, you know, this isn't stuff that I'm pulling out of my backside. Like we from day one have some very good people in our corner that have given us these benchmarks. So anyways, within 18 months, the SaaS company will be pretty confidently worth between 40 to $60 million. And within three to five years, the goal is to get it to valuation and potentially sell it. Maybe we keep it uh, anywhere between a hundred to $300 million. So the real money is in software, or at least what I consider to be, you know, real money at my stage of the career. You know, you need to understand that most people would look at the millions that I made with an agency and be like, that is serious, serious money. So that is basically the reason that I'm shutting down the agency, which is primarily focus. And by the way, it's not only just the agency, by the way, uh, this right here, a lot of you guys, I actually, a lot of my extra businesses, I, I don't always talk about on YouTube, but, um, you know, Gadgie, which is my, my e-commerce brand, uh, super, super slick packaging, this velvety finish on the inside is so nice. Every time I look at these G ones, uh, which are basically our blue light blockers that we make, I'm even like, <laughs> I'm even stunned and impressed by them. This is one of our uh, summer collection, a little bit uh, more of an interesting color. But anyways, as much as I love Gadgie, I'm shutting it down as well. So it's not just my agency. It's I had to look at the businesses that I have and just go how much collateral damage uh, will there be? And just sort of where does things slot in? And, you know, for example, Gadji is another one that I love to bits, but I actually just had to sacrifice. And funnily enough, Gadji and my agency were the ones that were taking the least amount of actual time out of my day. 
but it's just mental bandwidth. And I've realized as time goes on, it's not so much how much time do you have in a day? Because a lot of times you'll find that the big, big CEOs and the billionaires, they're not actually doing that much work. It's how much like clear space do you have in your mind to make good decisions and lead forward your companies. And on that note, my mind is cluttered. My mind is like, this is a war zone in here. So I basically had to sacrifice these two companies to just to kind of give me a bit more clarity and focus on the next uh, sort of stage of my career. And sort of the last thing that kind of played a role in this as well as I've been running my agency for six years. You know, it's been a beautiful journey, but it's, I kind of felt like I completed that game. Um, and I kind of came to this realization, especially a, a year ago, because you can always keep playing a game. You know, you can always keep scaling a company further and further and further. But I had a pretty big epiphany around a year ago. And, and that big epiphany was that I realized an agency should never really be a destination. It, it's more of a stepping stone business. You know, I realized the thing you need to do when running an online boutique marketing agency, and you should be able to get here between anywhere from 18 months to three years, I found that territory, is scale it to 750 to 2 million a year in profit. Okay, I'm not talking revenue, profit. So scale it between $750,000 to $2 million a year in profit and then scale it back 25%. Because what you wanna do is you basically wanna find the threshold where extra sort of input and scaling the revenue actually just brings on too many headaches and then basically just scale it back 25% from that point and just kind of keep it running on autopilot. And the best thing, as I said, find a CMO like I did. You know, Danny was working for me for four years, give him profit share at some point after they've been in the company long enough and they'll run the company for you. And the one thing that I couldn't get out of personally was um, sales calls and onboarding calls because we were working with very high ticket clients and our deal structures were quite sort of complex. That's the one thing that I could not get out of sales calls and onboarding calls. If I found a way to get out of those two and I trusted someone to basically uh, do the selling and also make the offer to the clients, maybe I would have kept around, but whatever, I guess the chips fell as they did. But back to the main point, which is when it comes to an agency, the best thing you can do is scale it to that point, scale it back 25%, and then basically just invest 80% of everything you make. And within five to seven years, between the free cash flow from the agency, as well as the appreciation of your investments, you should pretty comfortably get to an eight figure investment portfolio. I managed to do it in five years and, you know, I started off, you know, at the age of 16, you know, 16, 17, I was having minimal success with the agency, you could say. And then once you get to eight figures, which is basically at the stage I'm at now, you make the decision, which is either you won the game. Like a lot of people, like what I'm doing right now, I'm, I, I can tell you for a fact, 98% of people wouldn't do because I won the game. Like I can travel, I can do whatever I want. Like I'm, I'm set for life, which is really, really cool. And and the best part is I can continue to grow my wealth because I can invest it and then actually only draw out, like let's say I want to live off, you know, 300K a year, which is 3% of my sort of nest egg. Actually, my nest egg is closer to 11, 12 million, but whatever, the, you get the point. I could only withdraw 3% of that or a little less than 3%. And, you know, and if you know how to invest, right, you should be getting returns that are greater than 3%. So you're actually contributing and that sort of, that snowball is growing year by year. So for 98% of people, once you've won the game, that's cool. I am a sicko. I've always been like this. Like I, I can't stand still in my life. I wish I could. My life would be a lot more peaceful. So, so for the 2% that are like me, you can do what I'm doing, which is go for the nine figure opportunity, which by the way, takes a lot of work and will take a lot more out of you than that initial, you know, I'll be honest, starting an online boutique agency, which is why I keep recommending it for everyone is kind of playing on easy mode compared to other business models. It's still a lot of work. Okay. Don't get that twisted, but it's easy mode compared to the other businesses. Now, the final thing to address is how can I basically teach people how to start and scale their agency when I'm not doing it myself anymore? Well, the answer kind of depends on which of my company's two programs we're referring to. Now, Agency Navigator is our flagship program and it helps anyone, literally anyone, start an online business with as little money as humanly possible. And within, usually we found the range is between six to 18 months. If they stick at it, they'll come to be making $10,000 a month profit online. Now, me teaching Agency Navigator is kind of like someone who played in the Premier League for any of you guys, you know, for any of you guys who don't follow football, you know, it's like, the British best league. It's like someone who had a long career in the Premier League and now they retired and they're coaching their son's Sunday league football. Like it's just to get to 10,000 a month and I'm really not trying to downplay it or even 20,000 a month. Like I'm not, you know, I I, under, I remember back in those days when it was, it seemed like such a massive feat, but for me to teach someone to accomplish five to 10% of what I accomplished monthly in my agency career is not very difficult. And, and I'll just be very honest, to get to 10, 15, 20,000, it's, you can do 90% of things wrong and still get there. To get to 100,000 a month, 
a profit with your agency, like every all cylinders need to be firing correctly. So that is a lot more difficult. Now, the only thing that changes year on year is service delivery. And no matter what program I make, I work alongside my team anyways to sort of help formulate that phase of the program, because obviously they're in the trenches working with our clients. And inside of that program, we currently have two coaching calls. It's actually going to four coaching calls this month. And those coaches are in the trenches in their agencies and bringing that expertise back to teach about service delivery, sales, outreach, a mindset performance, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And then outside of the ridiculous program that we have, you also have the, the community, the custom tools, the custom platform. Uh, obviously, all of these coaching Q and A calls, as well as the recordings of them, and even what we started implementing recently. Basically, with Gray Agency, the goal is to reinvest as much as humanly possible. Because I'll, I'm just telling you guys my $300 million game plan. There you go. Full transparency. Grow GYA and help nurture the best agency owners on earth that are loyal as hell to Agency Flow, my software company, because they're like. OK, this is the best solution for us. But then sort of the big focus that we need to do at GYA is I'm reinvesting as much money as humanly possible because I want the best agency owners because it doesn't help me if I get, let's say, 5000 students a year into Agency Navigator and then like 80 percent of them quit. Like, no, I need as many of them succeeding as humanly possible because obviously I'm a great guy. That's the main reason. But there is a second reason, which is if they win, they will use agency flow and I will sell my company for $300 million in four years. So I'm just being honest with you. Now, with that being said, what we implemented this year was the student success concierge team. So I've actually hired eight people. It's going up to 12 next month to meet demand. So eight people full time. So on a product this cheap, which, by the way, I know for some people, agency navigator might seem expensive when it comes to education space. And I mean, if you want to compare it to universities and how much you're going to be spending there, it is blasphemy how cheap it is. It is it is preposterous. So to have a product at that price point where you're assigned a concierge member, like you have a full time concierge rep. So this person speaks with you on day one of you signing day 30, day 60, day 90, month six and month 12. OK, and you can reach out to them at any point. They're your dedicated concierge. So whatever issues you have, whatever extra support, like whatever you want, they're there to support you. And to do this on a product at that price point for agents navigator, usually you only find it for products that are ten thousand dollars, fifteen thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars, you know, you know, courses, coaching programs like that. So that's another thing that we implemented for agents navigator. So that is agents navigator. When it comes to Apex, things are slightly different. And that's where I've had to bring in some more external help to really make sure that we are rock solid. Now, Apex is a course mastermind hybrid that helps people get to seven figures a year with their agency. And then I also show people how to actually invest their money to get to eight figures within five to seven years, basically exactly like how I did. And then the last portion of it, I also show people here are the businesses you can start. And from my own personal experience, here's how to do it if you want to go for that nine figure opportunity, just like I did. So it's a very unique sort of program because we're showing people how to make seven, eight and nine figures. I've done the seven and eight from the agency. Now I'm going for the nine. Now with that program, obviously the first step in that process is getting to 100K a month or basically around seven figures a year with their agency. And that's why I have a lot of coaches in that program outside of myself. So at the moment, I have four coaches and there are six coaching calls a week in that program. We have sales experts like Paul Daly, who's actually my CEO at Gray Agency. He actually ran and then exited a local lead gen agency. So he does call reviews and sales trainings on Monday. We have John Danes, who actually runs an agency doing one hundred and eighty thousand dollars a month. And he works with real estate agents. So he has his coaching call. We have Michael Gardner, who basically sets meetings for agencies with his lead gen agency. So he has a coaching call when it comes to outbound sort of script setting and stuff like that. And I even have Danny, who worked at my agency for four years. He was my CMO. He still coaches in Apex when it comes to everything to do with service delivery. Speaking of Danny, after four years, working together, I have allowed him to basically merge our clients that we had left at the end of the agency with his new agency. So he's now gone and done his own thing. Obviously, we're still on great terms. So by the way, if you've ever wanted to work with IG Media, I know there's a lot of you guys here who have applied to work with us, but quite frankly, we're a very, very, very expensive agency. So if you ever wanted to work with us, I will actually just leave Danny's uh, uh, email right here. Danny at IG media.com. You can reach out to him and um, yeah, his agency, not to say that it's cheap or anything, but it'll definitely be cheaper than working with IG Media. But yeah, as I said, obviously, we're still on great terms and he's still coaching for Apex. And then lastly, there are the calls with myself where I will go over the overall structure, hiring company culture and basically what to do with your money once you make it. And basically all the stuff that I'm kind of focused on in the stage of my career that I'm at. So as I alluded to earlier, basically all the money at GYA is going back into the business. All the coaches that we have that aren't cheap, considering how much money they're making outside of the coaching gig. Uh, we've got all the improvements to the custom platform. We've got version two of our custom platform actually coming out this month. Uh, we've got the app coming out in the next few months. I don't know any other education company taught by a guru 
who has their own app. And, you know, I don't know any other guru who invests this much money back into their e-learning company. Obviously, we have the new concierge reps. And then, you know, an initiative that we've been doing ever since 2019, I take a lot of my personal profits from Greency and use that to build schools. I actually messaged Alan, the chairman of Pahar Trust. Uh, I actually messaged him a week ago and committed to building my fifth and next school. I'm actually taking some of the GYA team in November to Nepal to visit our first four schools that we fully funded. And by the way, at GYA, I have almost 30 full-time employees now. So yeah, payroll is very, very, very expensive. Anyways, all this to say that the focus now, main focus is basically GYA, cultivate as many incredible agency owners because they will never use agency flow. So as I said, I don't really care too much about the profit margins here. They're just as long as both keep 20%, I'm happy. Everything else gets reinvested and tunnel vision for the next goal, which is nine figures. And the last sort of thing I'll uh, mention is for any of you guys watching this and you're like, why do you recommend starting an online boutique marketing agency when you have a SaaS company and an e-learning company? Once again, it comes back down to career timing and market timing. Just remember in order to create and scale a software company like I did, you basically need a nine out of 10 skill set as an entrepreneur and you need an eight out of 10 capital, you know, or at least the access then, you know, you'll need investors or something like that. Like it, it's quite expensive to start a software company. And then to create an e-learning company like I did, you know, not just be like a guru who launches a course in the last six months, you know, GYA has been running for four years now. Well, I guess officially, no, sorry. Wait, wait 2019, 20, 20, three and a half years. And, and the first year of it, I basically just was a guru with a course. Like I didn't really, I didn't have a company with all these support systems and a mission, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, if you want to start an education company that stands the test of time, uh, you're going to need a 10 out of 10 skill set. It's a really tough business, actually, if you want to last years and years. And then you're also going to need a sort of six or seven out of 10 in terms of investment. You know, our custom platform that we built costs a lot of money, near seven figures. You know, the custom platform that we built and then now the new app that we're building as well, that's over seven figures in development costs just right there. So definitely do not try to start those businesses when you're first trying to get to just 10K or even 50K a month. Do what is most practical. And that is the thing that changed my life forever. I will be forever grateful to having an agency. It was an incredible, incredible six years that took me to that eight figure level. But now it's time to put my head down, make some sacrifices and focus on getting to a hundred million, if not even hundreds of millions.